Hi guys, Nash here. Uh, I'm going to talk in this video about thermogenesis. So thermogenesis is something uh, very important, especially for, for bodybuilders or, uh, or other athletes who are trying to get in shape. Because thermogenesis is actually uh, the ability of the body to burn energy due to food that we ingest. So digestion uh, burns a lot of energy in the body and causes raise in temperature. So temp ra uh, raise in temperature is actually the side effect of digestion and it's called thermic effect on food or thermic of food on the body. So that thermic effect is not the same for every macronutrient. So some macronutrients have lower, uh, some have much higher thermic effect. So what that means? That means that, uh, for example, the uh, thermic effect of fat is 3%. That means that every 100 calories uh, that we ingest from fat, the body will burn 3 calories just for those purposes of digestion. Thermic, this is thermic effect of, of, of the food. So only 3 calories from every 100 that we ingest from fat. Now when it comes to carbohydrates, uh, they have a thermic effect between 12 and 15. Again, meaning that uh, every 100 calories from carbohydrates, the body will has, have to use its own 12 to 15 calories in order to uh, digest carbohydrates. Now, when it comes to protein, surprise, surprise, the thermic effect of protein is anything between 20 and 30%. Meaning that for every 100 calories that you bring from protein, your body will have to burn 20 to 30 calories just in order to break the protein down. So the protein actually causes the highest thermic effect. Now we know there are two sources of energy in the body, right? One is glucose or glycogen. This is what we use for, uh, for our uh, training purposes. We use while con contracting under heavy resistance. And the uh, other source of energy, which we use throughout the day, for the rest of the day, even when we sleep, is body fat. Now, this thermic effect of food and this uh, caloric deficiency which is caused by digestion of food is on ex uh, clearly on expense of body fat. So if you eat protein as a main macronutrient, you will be burning more calories from body fat just in order to digest protein. Now the problem is now that <clears throat> A lot of people eat very high amount of so-called complex carbs, thinking they are beneficial, they are going to bring you some strength or, or fullness or something. They, they bring you a lot of fat as well, we know that. Now, even uh, from the thermogenesis perspective, if, if you eat, if, if protein is the highest uh, macronutrient in, in your diet, you will be thermically thermogen uh, from, from the point of thermogenesis you will be more efficient because you will be burning more calories in order to digest food your protein mainly food so fat obviously does not cause thermic effect so if you want to increase thermic effect we should relatively eat some lower moderate amount of body fat uh, of fat some carbohydrates if at all and predominantly protein because protein causes that uh, uh, thermic effect up to 30 percent so 30 percent of the calories so if you if you eat let's say 300 grams of protein a day uh, which will be uh, 1200 calories three uh, 300 calories in uh, time 30 percent of, of that four, 400 calories will be actually the body will use from its own body fat stores in order to digest these 300 grams of protein a day so if you see even even from this perspective from uh, looking at the, at the at the metabolism and cons considering thermogenesis is an important physiological process you will benefit by eating more protein. Obviously, that protein should be split in anywhere from four, five, six meals, rather than just be eaten in one or two, because that, that way you will keep that thermic effect going through the day. So I hope this is, a, this is an important lesson for you, because understanding thermogenesis, understanding that if, if a protein is the dominant uh, macronutrient 
in your in every single meal you will increase the thermic effect of the, of the food uh, on your body up to 30 percent so which will be extremely beneficial for long-term fat loss so i hope you like the video if you do uh, you know what to do and uh, i will see you in the next video